الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نا محمد ولا علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بیر حبت فلّہ آئی جس کیم ان فضل اللہ سبحان و تعالی بیک ٹو دی یونائٹیڈ اسٹیٹس ٹو مائی ٹو واشنگٹن اسٹیٹ And I left Dammam, Saudi Arabia, which was about 120 degrees regularly, blazing oppressive heat. And I'm thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have this blessed opportunity to come and see and experience His beautiful, fantastic creation. And the smells that I'm smelling just right now, and this light rain, are ni'am, من اللہ عز و جل اینڈ وین یو کم این ٹیسٹ دا بیوٹی دا لد آف اللہ سپان تاز بیوٹیفل اینڈ گلوریس کریشن یو نو دیٹ دوز آر آئی ایٹ اور دیٹ دس از این آئی من آیات اللہ دیٹ دس دیز آر سم آف دا سائنس آف اللہ سپان تاز بیوٹیفل سائنس اینڈ I'm mentioning this as something that I want, I, I reflect upon and we hear it in the questions that many of the people in the West, a lot of the Shabab, we see that they don't take the opportunity to benefit from the beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ni'am that Allah has given them. And I want to mention specifically those youth in the West and encourage them to take care of the opportunities that you have now. While you live in the West, yes, you may have struggle. Yes, it can be difficult and challenging in your deen, but you have to become serious about adhering to the book and the sunnah. And that, yes, hijra is a na'mah for those who want to make hijra. And we know it's uh, one of the greatest acts of ibadah you can do if you're making hijrah for the sake of your deen. However, most of the people will not, won't even try to make hijrah and will also lose by not trying to benefit in their environments. So what I want to encourage the youth is to be serious about your deen. to practice and study. Now there's so many different ways to seek knowledge that you can benefit right in your homes. If you don't have the opportunity to go forth and not everyone's going to be a Talib al-Ilm, not everyone necessarily really has the aptitude to be a strong student of knowledge or someone who's going to come and give da'wah or whatever the case may be, whatever your goals are. Not everyone has that aptitude because that takes perseverance. It takes the sacrifice And it takes the tawfiq min Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hadha min Allah. Hadha fadl min Allah izu wa jal. Because that is the path of paradise. Seeking the knowledge. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi alman sahhal Allahu luhu tariqan ilal jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So what I want to encourage our youth to do That those who do not necessarily have the desire or the ability or they're in a process of gaining the ability to, to travel and do those things they want to do, it's the benefit from your societies. What do I mean? There is nothing that prohibits you from being an excellent doctor and making a nice income. There is nothing that pro prohibits you from becoming an engineer. or to excelling in science. Ahlu Sunnah can do all of that and then some. I don't believe our youth need to set those low standards and continue to have low and lowly goals or no goals at all of just being janitors and just having you know, very minimal subsistence jobs. Because the reality is that even when you are, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you with wealth, 
That means you have the opportunity to go forward and do things. You can do your duties of, and, and you add it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala easier. In general, you have the ability to make hajj bi'idnillah. If you want to travel and go seek knowledge, you can do that. You can save easier. But the one who's stuck in a job that they hate, just because they believe it to be as halal as they can find, and they're not taking, oppor taking the opportunity to seek the secular knowledge that they may need to help them in their Islamic knowledge, and also a beautiful faida along with that, for those who don't like to hear this, because there's a lot of people who are resistant to seeking knowledge of the dunya. And that has never been my fikr, my way of thinking, prior to Islam or even as a Muslim, and more specifically as a Salafi. We don't have to be the inhabitants of the ghettos. We don't have to be setting no goals for ourselves and staying in the same stagnant environment and with a stagnant mentality. There's nothing wrong with a Salafi uh, engineer. There's nothing wrong with a Salafi nurse or doctor. There's nothing wrong with a Salafi scientist or business owner. So you can do the things you want to do and worship Allah Azza wa Jal and you can provide for your family. So it's imperative to begin to change our way of thinking. If you have the opportunity, you can't go do Talib al-Ilm now. Maybe you can do it later. Maybe you can do some now and continue your university studies. La yudurak. It doesn't harm you. Because, giving you an example of myself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored me to be, have the opportunities I had and he used as a means my degrees, my education. I wouldn't be able to live in Saudi Arabia for the amount of years I've lived and do the things I've been able to do without having sought education. With having, having, without having sought to better myself. And we ask Allah Jal, by all his divine names and attributes to bless us with a class with that. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Strive to be the best you can. Ayu al-shabab. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.